I am happy to join with you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. History is only a form of education in which you need to know to keep from making the same mistake again. Like the only way you can really like kind of get the gist of it is hearing stories, you know, um, or uh, reading history books or watching documentaries on uh, TV. Um, you know, the things that they had to go through, you know, I couldn't imagine going through that today. You know, um, it's uh, something that, you know, they saw and they overcame and um, they make us better for it now. You know, I trust the Marines to the left or right of me. You know, um, when you go into combat, you have to be prepared. You have to be prepared that the Marines to the left or right of you knows what they're going to do, and they know what you're going to do. And you work as a team to accomplish whatever that goal is. With everything being segregated, but you really didn't have that trust. So it's kind of hard to even fathom being put in that position now. I'm glad I was able to be there to help make the history. But to know that someone came enough to keep the legacy going, and I'm here, live long enough to see that general, Sergeant Major, carrying on the legacy, which could have been just wiped away if we just had on the fail. And believe me, they tried. A lot of the men and women who, who died and fought in the military, they did not fight just for black history, they fought for American history. And I believe that's how they would like to be recognized.